Our vestibular ball maze is perfect as an analogy. I don't know if you've ever used this as an analogy when you're explaining VPPV, but I certainly like to explain to my patients how sometimes when their otoconia, which is represented by the ball bearings in this maze, get out of place, sometimes we have to work pretty hard and take some time to move them back where they belong. We really designed this ball maze with some features that really parallel the anatomy in our vestibular apparatus. For example, we've created little divots where the ball bearings might get caught on either side of where the cupola is. We've also made the canals slightly uneven, which is really more true to our vestibular anatomy. Finally, we've created a center section where the vestibule lives. But most importantly, there can be conversion where those ball bearings move between the posterior right into the horizontal canal instead of going into the vestibule where they belong. All these features make this great not only for educating patients, but even for students and newer clinicians when they're just starting to understand the pathophysiology and treatment and assessment of BBBV. Thank you.